Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the second video in our series where I'm walking you through how to build a framework or skeleton for your inbound marketing campaigns. Now, this is the first step in building out an inbound marketing campaign. The next step, once you've gotten the framework uh, built, is to go out and actually create the content that goes into the framework. But we're going to get to that later on. So in, la in our last video, we showed you how to create the different lead lists that we're going to need to track the interest or qualification of your leads as they go through your sales funnel. In this video, we're going to show you how to create the forms that go on the landing pages that trigger people going into those different lead lists. So let's go ahead and get started. To do this, to build the forms, we're going to click on the drop down box under contacts and we're going to go to forms. And we're going to create a form for each stage or step in your sales funnel. So we're going to create one for your top of the funnel. This is going to be your tofu form. Now, once somebody lands on this landing page and fills out the top of the funnel form, they're going to get your top of the funnel offer and they're going to go into your uh, information qualified lead list. So these are just the information seekers and these are the people that aren't very warm, they're not really ready to have sales conversations. So this filling out this form is tr what triggers people going into that information qualified lead list. So for the top of the funnel we don't we typically don't want to ask for too much information because we want to make it as easy as possible for these people to convert and get into our database. So for our um, intents and purposes we like to just get the first name, last name, and email address. We want to make all of these fields uh, smart fields and we want to make these fields required. Smart fields actually means that once somebody fills out, fill, fills out these fields and they come back to your website later on and fill out another form, they won't have to enter this information anymore uh, as long as the cookie is still on their, um, on their computer. Now, uh, if you do want to add other fields and get more data on your um, potential customers or the people filling out these forms, then you can go ahead and add them. Uh, just remember that the more fields on a form, the lower the conversion typically. All right, so a couple of things that we want to make sure are marked here are we want pr to pre-populate fields with known values. Again, this means that once somebody has filled out a form and then they go to fill out another form, HubSpot will automatically pre-populate that form with the information that we've already, already gathered from them. Also, you want to make sure that whoever needs to be notified about a new lead, um, you want to stick their, their email address in this notified when submitted section. Now once you've done all that, you want to go ahead and save the form. And now we're going to move on to creating our middle of the funnel form. Now the middle of the funnel form is going to go on the landing page for your middle of the funnel offer or what we call a brand filter offer. Um, for our middle of the funnel offers, we typically want to uh, create an offer that shows how the brand or the client that we're working with can help solve the visitor's problem. So that helps us to kind of filter out the people that aren't interested in the brand and find pinpoint the people that are. So again, we want to make sure that all these um, fields are smart fields and we want to make them required. Um, for the middle of the funnel form field uh, form, you can add some more fill, fields. Uh, it's, it's better to add them on the MoFu offer than the top of the funnel offer. And then once somebody fills out these forms on the middle of the funnel uh, landing page, they actually go into the marketing qualified lead list. So you know that people who fill out this form are a little bit more engaged, they're a little bit warmer. Um, and you can probably start reaching out to them at this point if you don't have a ton of leads. So that's what the middle of the funnel offer is for. Um, now again you want to make sure that pre-populate fields with known values is clicked and then you want to stick in the email address for whoever needs to be notifi notified about new leads. Save that form and then we're going to create our last form which is our BOFU form. Now, anybody who uh, lands on the bottom of the funnel landing page and fills out the bottom, the BOFU form, 
they're going to be placed in the sales qualified lead list. And again, these are the hottest leads in your database. These are the leads that your sales team need to reach out to as soon as possible. And on this form, you can definitely ask for more information because you want to be able to arm your uh, sales reps with as much information about the um, prospect as possible. So again, make all these smart um, fields and then you can add all kinds of fields here. You can add contact information so you can get your phone number. You can um, ask for do they have a marketing budget or whatever uh, fields are appropriate for your particular business. Um, go ahead and add those here. I wouldn't go over six or so um, just to, to play it safe because you don't want to turn off the visitor and keep them from converting. So just keep that in mind. Options again go ahead and pre-populate fields with known values and then stick in the email address of the person that needs to be notified when this form is submitted and for the bottom of the funnel offer you definitely want your sales reps um, in this uh, section so that they can get an instant notification that they've got a hot lead when they fill out this bottom of the funnel offer so that's it that's how we create all the forms for our inbound marketing campaign framework um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks a lot.